Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone in the YouTube world. We are here back on another episode on the very last day of our one week trip here in Orlando. Uh, we're going back to our Islands of Adventure. I can't wait for that. We got a little touch of Islands of Adventure yesterday. Just so much more to explore and have fun with. Let's enjoy breakfast for now and then get ready and take that Uber ride to Islands of Adventure. Hope you guys are having a good one. Consider liking and subscribing. We're in this together. So we're gonna have such a great day today and the last day tomorrow. Go back home to Dallas for work. On our way to Universal. Back at Universal again. Lots of people already. Islands of Adventure, here we come. So this is the same entrance for Islands of Adventure here at Universal, just like we did it yesterday. There it is, Islands of Adventure. This theme park opens at 8 a.m. Right now it's about 8.30. Justin has decided for early parking mission. Early park admission, that way. Okay, we're currently trying to figure this out. So there's an early, uh, early park access right there at 8 a.m. Right now it's currently 8.30. And there's a line for the 9 a.m. entrance right there. But I'm thinking, why can't we just wait here and just wait for the whole park to open at 9 anyway? But I may be wrong, so we'll have to figure this out. I wish I would have known that um, for people that are not staying at the park and if you don't have a yearly pass, you should come like 9 or after 9 o'clock because if you come earlier, you're going to have to wait and uh, they won't let you in to the early park access if you're not staying here and no yearly pass, so just keep that in mind. The wait times are getting longer and longer, but I think we're going to try to find some other rides to do in the meanwhile and maybe later we can go on the uh, Hagrid's motorbike and uh, a couple other ones that we want to try. It's the whole ride. Hell to the no. Hell to the no. Hell to the no. Again. Did you eat a tree for right here? amazing Hulk behind me. Look at that beautiful ride. It's 3,700 feet of 67 miles an hour. It is insanely fast. It just has lots of twists and turns on the farther end. It is an amazing ride that I'm not gonna do, but I love to watch. Entering Toon Lagoon, so the, all the water rides are on this side. If you want to get wet, this is a place to do it. Let's go. What you're seeing now is a Ripsaw Falls, and there is nobody on this ride right now. I think nobody wants to get this wet this early in the day. Yeah, don't see anybody. Skull Island, Grain of Kong. Alright, we're gonna do this. Definitely. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I did not expect that. Yeah. Oh, nah, uh, yeah. 
Skull Island, I give it a 5 out of 5. It's very family friendly, but it's actually quite fun. Uh, lots of simulators on both sides. And then my favorite part was the actual King Kong to your right. So if you want to get it, sit to your right if you can of the, uh, the car. The, it's like a, like a little tram kind of thing. But uh, definitely worth it. 15 minute wait in the morning at uh, 10 in the morning. Yeah, 10 in the morning. So not too bad of a wait in the early morning. All right, here we go, guys. I can't believe I'm actually looking at the vehicle from Jurassic Park. I used to watch this movie all the time when I was little. That is so cool, guys. And the T-Rex on top. Awesome. I love this. Here in Jurassic Park, Jurassic World. Let's explore. This is more for the kids and families to stroll around. All right, even the kids can go up there and play. It's like a big playground for the little ones. We have, yep, it continues up there. Oh, and there is a dry slide. That's pretty cool. The ride within this park here is actually closed for the day. Must be maintenance or something. That is so cool. You can reserve a restaurant, Mythos, on the app. So that was pretty easy. We just reserved uh, Mythos at 11:45. You can pretty much do. Yeah, we're going. You can pretty much do anything on the app. You got to get it. It's super helpful in any planning that you want to do here. Because you helped identify her, do you want to help me name her? It could be anything you want. It could be your favorite parent, sister, brother. Sir Maximilian Cornelius Cumberbatch III. That's a wonderful name. Yeah, this is straight out of the movie. The nursery. Like, just like the movie, they had the lab that the babies are taken care of and they're yeah. hatch out of the egg. Okay, we just left Jurassic Park. I love the entrance, so typical of the movie. I miss, uh, I'm gonna watch that movie when I go home, but uh, that's what it looks like. Now we are entering Hogsmeade. I love the detail, I love the, the ambiance, the, the rides, everything about it. Famous castle there. So leave in the comments below if you've been here, what do you think? Or if you haven't, just let me know what you think from watching my videos. And uh, definitely coming back. I want to come back maybe this year, maybe next. What do you think about the day so far? Um, it's been fun. It's been fun watching all of these. I'm not really... Yeah. I'm okay with writing anyway. I'm not okay with the big rides such <laughs> as that one there, but uh, I think we're just happy just being here, taking photos yeah. and just looking at everybody. Although I would say that if you are into real speaking rides, you would love it here. Yeah, you would love it here. Um, better than Disneyland for those kinds of rides for sure. <laughs> This is the other place we're going She's to. loving this too much. <laughs> loving it too much. <laughs> Flights of 
with the hip progress. It's a 60 minute wait currently, and we just saw the ride. It's about one minute long. Does that entice you guys or not really? I don't know. 60 minutes for one minute? Mm. Man, I don't know. If you are a Harry Potter fan, then uh, you're going to love Hogsmeade. There's plenty of shows and activities and rides for you to enjoy. I love it. And if you guys remember, yeah, 10 minute wait for the Hogwarts Express, that short train ride that we did yesterday, guys. That I said that really wasn't worth it, but if it's 10 minutes, yeah, that's fine. Interesting. So if you want to do something like this, you probably should do it in the morning because it doesn't seem like people are doing it early on. Well, we are finally here at Mythos Restaurant, which we made a reservation on the app, which you can do everything on the app, so make sure you download it. Some cool facts, this restaurant is one of the original restaurants when this whole park like opened. Eight, it did open in 1999, so 25 years ago. And it has been voted the best theme park restaurant in 2003, 2008, and 2018. So this is the best restaurant here at the park, and you have a fabulous view of the roller coasters and the water behind the restaurant. So you, we're gonna try to get a table there so we can all enjoy this. It's the best restaurant. We spent $92 US for two people. That was with one drink and two full meals. Definitely worth your time. So you can come here, make a reservation on your phone. It's pretty easy. We don't have to wait that long. After a Mythos restaurant, which is right across over there, we came to check this out, but it's closed unfortunately. We want to see if it's a ride or what is it? Is it just a, like a hangout area? Well, that used to be Poseidon's Fury, and it was an attraction. When are they closing it? Uh, they're closing it for good in May the 10th. Apparently it's been open since 1999. So, and they're just mm -hmm. saying that the closure will help make way for exciting new experiences for its guests. So I don't know, maybe they're renovating it, or they're cha just changing the attraction maybe, I'm not sure. Yeah. They might build something new here, who knows. If you want one of the best views of the entire park here at Islands of Adventure, come behind the Mythos or the Mythos restaurant. Behind me, of course, you have the Velocity Coaster, which is going on right now. Oh, that's so cool! And then you have the Hulk, but you can pretty much see a lot of the park here across the water. Dr. Seuss, you can get a churro, which is this long for seven US dollars. Comes with chocolate sauce. Let's give it a try. 
Dr. Seuss, we're about to take this little cute train. Well, I was just a kid again because on the Seuss trolley rain, uh, train ride, it was a uh, five out of five for me. It was super relaxing, super calm, and the best part was the view of the lake in the middle of the park. I loved it. I got the uh, was it green eggs, chocolate cheesecake, seven dollars. Ham, green eggs and ham, chocolate cheesecake. Correct. All right, we were checking the wait times, and I think we just realized that the Hagrid's motorbike is about a 45 minute wait, which is what we're able to do and willing to do. <laughs> so we're kind of walking a little fast, gonna get a locker right quick, wait in line, and this is gonna be a fun one. I can't wait to show you guys. ride for sure this is it final I'm sealing it best ride we got super lucky just because there was a delay for most of the day on this ride and then we were lucky to go in here with the 45 minute wait and about a two and a half minute ride oh my gosh that ride so I was on the motorbike it was lots of twists and turns it went up and down amazing ride you, you felt a lot uh, just be careful be warned that uh, you're gonna feel it on this ride so definitely worth the wait again I got super lucky 45 minutes I would do it again in a heartbeat right now it's at 80 minutes and um, I still think it's worth it this is by far the best ride here Hagrid's motorbike five out of five please do it and another ride we did with Harry Potter is the flight of the hippogriff um, I'll give this one an honest two out of five. It was about a one hour wait for a, a 75 second ride. In my opinion, not worth it. Don't wait more than 30 minutes for this. This is a kid friendly ride. So it has some ups and downs. Not, It doesn't go as fast as you would like it to. But the problem for me, it's too short for a one hour wait. So um, again, it does have an express lane. You should use that if you have it. But otherwise, don't wait for this one. Oh, it's high. 
Popeye's area, it's its own little thing and we have we missed this completely so I'm glad we're walking this. Yeah, so you're not going on it. No, I'm not going on it. I decided. <laughs> I talked to a British lady. She was like, no, don't do it. No. <laughs> they have dryers right here exactly for the ride that we were talking about. Oh you yeah. gotta pay for it too. You have to pay for the you gotta pay for oh. it. Yeah, it's not free guys. We're gonna get soaked in wet. There's a restaurant we just went to, Mitos. That's pretty cool. There's a Velocicoaster. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. The whole coaster. If you've done that, let me know. I'm not doing it. That's too intense for me. Weather got really nice all of a sudden. It was hot. It was first cold and then hot, and now it's. Ooh, we can go. Perfect. It's only a 15 minute wait now. All right, we're going to the Hogwarts uh, train again. Let's do yeah. it. Going through Hogsmeade one last time. One last time, guys. This is what we're gonna get. Will you have a ticket for your Okay. One last time to Hogwarts with breath. Ten minute wait. That's very low for this park. bounce around the parks as much as you want and take the train or just walk all the way through I love it now we're back in Universal Studios all right we're gonna go eat where are we oh look at look at her oh oh So for $20, we got the burger. Looks delicious. An old fashioned diner. And then we have a chocolate shake. Look at this. Pretty neat. Well, the Mel's uh, drive-in old diner. I mean, five out of five for the burger and the milkshake. Just felt like, you know, you're back in the 1950s or whenever that was, but it's, it's a nice atmosphere. One thing I do like about the rides here at Universal is that the wait lines have lots of props and really cool effects and things like that so you're never really bored because you get to see the cool details that these people have put together while you're waiting for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour. Um, it helps It helps the wait game but other than that uh, it's just something so thoughtful and nice to see. So we're headed out the park. See you later Universal. Now that we have left Universal Studios. This is the City Walk Universal. And this is where all the restaurants were last night, where we were checking out, um, like again, the restaurants and the shops, just like outside of the park, where you don't need ticket access in this area. So I love it. And we're gonna say bye to Universal Studios. So it was so fun. I can't wait to be back sometime in the future. Um, again, I'm gonna, I, we really wanna come back in 2025 to visit the uh, epic uh, universe. That'd be epic. So let's try to make that happen, guys. Like, subscribe. Uh, almost there. I think three minutes. 
Okay, well back at the hotel guys and uh, overall thoughts of today was uh, Islands of Adventure was definitely fun. Uh, we rode pretty much the rides that we wanted to uh, except for like the, the big big ones that I'm scared of honestly I don't want to do them because I'm not a big theme park person I didn't grow up with this this is my first legit theme park because I believe in Texas we don't have those you know just like Universal or Disney or thing you know places like that I thought that the the wait lines of the rides were uh, fantastic because we didn't wait too long but also when you did wait a little bit long you had lots of props and cool effects to look at. Everything went so well. We just enjoyed a lot of Harry Potter today and uh, some Jurassic Park, some King Kong. Um, definitely want to come back. It's making me want to visit the other ones around the world. Pretty pricey to be honest. Uh, once everything adds up, you know, you buy your water, your souvenirs, uh, the tickets themselves. Uh, I'll probably do an in-depth video after my series to explain to you guys how much I, exactly I spent. Only regret was uh, not staying another couple days to explore that park even more and even like other ones like Animal Kingdom and places like that. We're done. We gotta leave tomorrow early and head back home to Dallas. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone in the YouTube world. Well, we're here on the very last day, but we're gonna make it to our way home today. So I'm truly, truly sad. I don't like this feeling because uh, every day has been nothing but theme parks and cruise ships. Oh my gosh, every day was up at 5 a.m. or up at 6 a.m. <laughs> or sleeping at 10 p.m. or sleeping at midnight and it was it was like packed for everything. No naps, no like <laughs> what felt like no rest time. Just a little bit of rant for you guys but uh, we're gonna go to the airport now. It looks like a hotel but yeah it's got a nice nice place with like palm trees and like here's a check-in line right there Well, I hope you guys honestly found this really fun, very informative, and uh, I really, really hope that some of you guys, at least, will try to do this uh, cruise and the parks and things like that. I'm gonna give lots of helpful tips and tricks and videos to come after this. So the series is not quite over, but if you wanna stay tuned, like and subscribe, follow all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And we'll go from there, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And we'll leave you at that. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone in the YouTube world. We'll see you guys on the next trip, which will be in May. And then we have some big, big summer plans. So that's going to be very fun. And you guys just come along and enjoy the ride. So we'll catch you guys on the next one. See y'all.